So as we go through the organic unit, what we're going to be looking at uh, is once we've covered a little bit about certain types of organic compounds, and we're going to look at chemical reactions that involve those chemical compounds, just to kind of keep things a little bit streamlined. Um, and so what I found has been a really good idea for kids is, is we're learning this content. It's nice to, instead of having all these chemical reactions scattered throughout your notes, it's nice to have them in one central location. So what I would do is in your notebook, I would dedicate a page front and back to organic reactions. And as we review and go through these organic reactions, you can add them in and then you've got them all in one centralized location. So the first kind of reactions or reaction that we're going to look at is just a combustion reaction. And the nice thing is, is we've looked at this uh, in fair amount of detail in previous years. Uh, and, and so the first type of combustion reaction we have is a complete combustion. And this is the one you'd be familiar with. We have just some kind of hydrocarbon. So any kind of alkane, alkene, alkyne, or any cyclo compound uh, reacts in the presence of excess oxygen and it produces carbon dioxide, water vapor, and some heat. Now, uh, this is the reaction that we're really familiar with, but there's kind of a second condition that occurs. In some, in some cases, uh, actually, in fact, in lots of cases, we, we do have uh, these hydrocarbons, these fuels that are being burned in the presence of insufficient amounts of oxygen. And so when that happens, we actually uh, produce a few different other compounds that we need to be aware of. And so an incomplete combustion, will also, just like a complete combustion, produce water vapor and some heat. But in addition to that, it's going to produce in any combination these three guys. Uh, so we've got carbon solid, which is just soot. It's just look like that really fine black stuff. Uh, we have carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide that could be produced. And I put here produced in any combination simply because uh, these three can all be present in an incomplete combustion, or maybe just one of those three could be present in, in an incomplete combustion. Um, now, if it's just carbon dioxide, well, then that would be a complete combustion. So there's gotta be at least soot and carbon monoxide present there as well, uh, if carbon dioxide is one of those ones that, that is there. But um, that's what you're looking for as you're trying to identify an incomplete combustion. Is, is, it's produ is it producing soot and or is it producing carbon monoxide? And if it is, then you can just quickly identify, hey, that's an incomplete combustion. Uh, you won't be asked to uh, predict the products of an incomplete combustion because there would be no really way for you to do that, but you should be able to identify, given a chemical reaction, that, hey, that's an incomplete combustion. So here's sort of the combustion uh, templates for these, both complete and incomplete, and that's what you need to know. Thanks for watching, guys.